President Trump's 11-year-old son Barron traveled to the airport in a car separate from his parents' Secret Service vehicle on Monday afternoon, as the family prepared to board Air Force One to return home after a long weekend in Mar-a-Lago. The only child of the president and his wife Melania arrived at Palm Beach International Airport, in West Palm Beach, Florida. In a Secret Service vehicle separate to the one carrying his parents, who arrived on the tarmac just a few seconds before him. After getting out of his own vehicle, Barron was then seen joining Donald and Melania as they prepared to board the plane, sporting a red long-sleeved shirt, khaki pants, and red New Balance sneakers for the short trip back to Washington, D.C. Footage of the first family's arrival at the airstrip shows Trump's SUV arriving as part of a multi-car motorcade, which includes a white vehicle that is carrying his son. The cars then pull up alongside Air Force One, where Donald and Melania make their way out of the SUV alongside several Secret Service agents. Meanwhile, Baron can be seen emerging from his vehicle, which has stopped a few feet back. He is then escorted out of the car by a Secret Service agent who walks him over to join his parents, who are already making their way up the stairs leading to the presidential aircraft by the he joins them. Baron appears to rush up the steps to join them, with the president pausing briefly at the top of the stairs to allow his son to catch up, while Melania makes her way inside the aircraft. Before stepping into the aircraft, Trump took a moment to wave to everyone below. While Barron was in a cheerful red collared shirt, his mother Melania donned a somber black blazer, black skinny jeans, and Dior combat boots. The president, however, was a bit more dressed up, wearing a suit, a blue striped tie, and an American flag pin in his lapel for the trip home. Upon their arrival at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland, the family exited Air Force One together, with Barron emerging from the airplane directly behind his parents. Before overtaking them as they paused for pictures and making his way straight down onto the tarmac. There, the president paused again to flash a quick smile and a thumbs up to the waiting cameras, while Barron waited just a few feet away, having covered up his red shirt with a matching red quilted jacket. It's unclear exactly when Barron met his parents in Mar-a-Lago, as his mother was seen boarding Air Force One by herself on Friday, before she and the president departed to Florida. Upon their arrival in Florida, the first couple stopped at the Broward County Sheriff's Office and Broward Health North Hospital Trauma Center to visit with victims who were injured in the school shooting in Parkland on Wednesday. They departed the hospital in the motorcade at 7.15 p.m., according to a pool log by a New York Times reporter. Barron wasn't the only Trump child who traveled to Florida to spend President's Day weekend with him in Florida. Donald Trump Jr., 40, his wife Vanessa, 40, and their five children enjoyed some fun in the sun at Mar-a-Lago where they celebrated Donald Trump III's ninth birthday on Sunday. Donald Jr.'s younger brother Eric Trump, 34, stayed at the resort with his wife Lara, 35, and their five-month-old son Luke. Tiffany Trump, the president's only child with his second ex-wife Marla Maples, was also at Mar-a-Lago for the weekend. The 24-year-old law student at Georgetown University was seen wearing a strapless aqua romper while walking around her father's estate on Saturday afternoon. The only one of Trump's children who appeared to be missing was his 36-year-old daughter Ivanka, who was seen leaving her Washington, D.C. home with her husband Jared Kushner on Friday morning.